I do apologise for that. It was uh, last over the road, she lost the cap. Right. Um, what am I going to do from here? I'm definitely going to take it, I think I'm going to take it up and over. Nah, I'll bugger that. Let's, uh, oh, hang on a minute. I will need to take it up and over that a little bit. Which is fine. Give me my dirt back, please. Right. I could definitely take it up and over this. I'm alright. Dig through here and then, you know, join it over there. I might need some more. Bloody cat. Might need some more cobblestone transport pipes. In fact, I probably will. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at that. Made for the job. Absolutely made for the job. Um, okay, that's going to get to there, but the thing is, this is such a long pipe work that... Um, I've just realised. Hold on a second. I just realised something that I probably don't want to put that there. I'll put it there. There's a reason for that. And uh, oh, that means I'm going to need some more cobblestone transport. No, it's all right because um, I'm going to do something here. That's my dirt. And the golden transport pipes. This needs redstone, a redstone torch to function. As you can see, it goes slightly darker in colour, and that will speed up any items that go through it. Right, because this here is has no diamond um, thing to sort it out, what's going to happen is one sapling is going to come along here and go in there, and one sapling, after that, is going to go straight across. So I'm going to end up with saplings over there, which is a shame. But what can you do? I really need a diamond transport pipe there. Um, it is getting dark, though, so quick, let's, let's bugger off home. And I'll finish that in the morning. I'll finish that in the morning. I might be able to make something of red power to sort that out, but I'd rather just keep it build craft at the minute. Rather than complicate things and do two different mods in the same part. Um, I suppose, I mean, I could do, I could do it like that. But then it is, oh, hang on a minute, no, that's not going to work. Right, that's going to go through there, but it's, it, it might speed the items up, but it's not going to speed them up, you know, so that it goes really all over there right quick. I think it's got a certain range. So, you know, every other, you know, every once in a while I'm going to do this and just uh, replace. Replace um, these pipes with golden transport pipes. Just so it gets there quicker, if you know what I mean. It's going to whiz over there. I think one last one in there. And that will do quite nicely. Um, I really should have made these easier to get to. Let's turn off this machine at the minute, because I'm going to need a little bit of time to adjust everything. Why can't I get up there? There we are. There we are. Okay. So that's turned that off. Got plenty of books. Loads of books in there. Um, right, let me just think about this for a second. I don't, oh, I don't want to do that, that's for sure. Um, books, the wood's going to come across here and go into this chest. So the wood and books are both going to end up in here. 
I'll need to then suck them out with my wooden transport pipes. No, hang on. Right. I'm going to try something that I haven't actually tried before. Piston or oh, red dot work because I just haven't got the stuff to be able to do that uh, at the minute. What I was going to do is filter the certain items out so that the saplings didn't get involved. Um, because the saplings are going to be a problem. They are going to be a problem. I also need another redstone engine as well. Right, there's something I actually did to this farm to stop it from producing stuff. See all these levers here? Well, they actually deactivate the seals, which means it's not going to do anything while these are turned off, which is absolutely brilliant because I'm absolutely full to the hilt of wheat and seeds. Uh, I really don't need any more. So it's good that Asenor had, uh, had the wherewithal to think about putting that kind of system in. Um, it was just a test on my behalf to see if it worked and it did wonderfully so really really happy that that is the case the only one that's still on is the one that uh, keeps everything hydrated because of course you're going to need that right I need another piston so that's an iron two pieces of no just a one piece of redstone uh, more cobble yes some more wood that I can do. I did put a crafting table just there as well. Uh, and I believe that's it. The iron. Right, I need the glass. I think I put it back in this chest. I need one piece, which is good. Um, I'll need two wooden gears. Create another of them. Um, I ain't got enough wood. Hang on a sec. Oh, I've got enough. Three different types of wood. I could use that. Get that used and out of the way then. Lovely. Right, okay. See, I don't have to power these by levers. Although it's probably a good idea to, because then I can turn it off. another lever nice <coughs> I'm just I, for the moment I'm going to see if it works now it, it it will work I could tell you that much it will work but um, it's how well it's going to work that's the question and whether or not it's going to be difficult to do that uh, right I'll need to actually oh damn you know what's going to be a problem What is going to be a problem is that the wood, you know, nice clear wood and books are going to come into this chest. I've set it up wrong. I'm going to need the wood to turn itself. I'm probably going to need to set that up just back here a little bit, I think. Uh, I'll need another automatic crafting table. What, <coughs> what it is, is that, you know, the trees are going to get chopped down and come through here. But it's going to come as actual, you know, like pure wood, not wood planks. So I'm going to have to get an, an automatic crafting table, another one, to, uh, to change the wood into wooden planks and then the wooden planks back, you know, come out into the chest. Um, but I'm going to need, I need some way of sorting the saplings out. And the only way I can think of doing it is a diamond pipe, but I just haven't got the resources to do that. I've only got the one diamond left. Um,
Okay, that's going to get me enough for the gears I'm going to need. I need a crafting table as well. I'm crafting another one of them guys up. Um, I really think that the saplings are going to be a major problem in this kind of build. Okay, so what I want this to do... Ah, oh, damn. I'm going to need that type of wood, otherwise it's not going to work. Can I grab a piece? Please? Can I grab a piece? Uh, I only want the one piece, so... Thank you. And that's going to create the wooden planks that we need. It's going to come along here and uh, drop them in there. It's going to create the four wooden planks. Have I got that type of wood in my chest? Because I'm going to need some more of it. And I don't really want to go all the way back there again. Um, The normal wood. Is that the normal wood there? It certainly looks like it. Yeah, it is. Which is good because I'm going to need that type of wood. So I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, you'll notice that the wintry drones, I took them out. Um, I got four drones and one princess. I also went out and got myself a Meadows princess and a Meadows drone from uh, the beehive that was in the meadows. Um, so <coughs> I've got that to make at some point soon, another apiary, but uh, that's for another time. Well, I want to really want to get this sorted first. Right, so they're going to come out of there. I'm going to need another one. Ah, uh, what? This is turning into a long, long episode. This is why I could use, you know, this is why where I could use a PC. So I don't keep messing around. Um, I don't think I need anything else. I will need to build craft wrench as well, actually. And that's the one there. Iron and a stone gear. That's so pretty easy, that. But I will need a piece of iron. Right, stone gear. Hang on a minute, it was three irons, wasn't it? God! It's not going right for me today. One stone gear. Come on, get out the door. I'm going to get the wooden gear to make the stone gear. Good, good, good. And there's the build craft wrench. I'm going to need that for the next part. Not quite so soon. But you will soon see. Um, yes, I know that makes that cobble. I'm running out of cobble again. There's a the piston that I'm going to need. I'm going to need two wooden gears. Easy. I've done enough of these now to last me a bloody lifetime. And that, I'm also going to need to go to sleep because it's just turned night time. Another one of them babies. Right, let's go to sleep. And fingers crossed, we can actually get this finished in just a second. My god, a full bloody half hour episode just doing this. Man. I hope it works, that's for sure. Skim alongside here. And... Don't need books in there, do I? Alright, let's put that there. Redstone engine. Here. Wooden pipe. Here. Build craft wrench, I'm going to turn that around. Usually automatically does it itself, you know, if you uh, if you do it right. Uh, say for example, you put the wooden pipe down first, 
and then put the engine down, then it will, you know, right itself anyway. Uh, so, okay. That out of there, into there. The books are going to go in there. The wood is going to go in there. What I'm going to need then is to get the, get it out of there, into an automatic crafting table, where we're going to create ourselves wood, uh, bookshelves, and then, oh god, I'm going to need another one! My god! It's <laughs> getting on my tits now. Um, luckily there is already a lever there, so I really just need one more engine and then that will sort it out and I need another chest as well. Alright, let's get the redstone and the... One redstone. And the one piece of iron. I need a piece of glass. God. Got plenty of wood. There we go. So that's that. I will need a piston though. Which is fine. No, it isn't, because I don't have enough cobblestone. I'm short by just the one piece. I really must go out and mine some cobblestone. You know, purposely mine a lot of cobblestone. But I'm, I really want to wait for that until I get the quarry up and running from Buildcraft. Okay. I've seen this a thousand times before. Alright, that's the last one now. I swear to you guys that is the last one. Did I create a chest? No, of course I didn't, because I'm a clown. Here we go. A very complicated looking thing, but it really is quite simple when you think about it. Uh, okay, what I'm going to need now is my redstone engine just there. Right, so what is going to happen here is that these are going to suck the sugarcane up into this chest. The sugarcane is then going to get sucked out of there and into here to make paper. The paper is going to get sucked out to make books. The books are going to get sucked out into this chest. So let's put these books back in there now because that's what I need to do. Um, meanwhile, over there, the farm is going to cut down all the trees, the wood's going to come across here, land in here and turn itself into wooden planks. The wooden planks are going to come and be sucked out into this chest. This chest is going to have books and wood in it. Both are going to get sucked out into this crafting table, which is going to make bookshelves, and then they're going to get sucked out into this chest. Ta-da! We got there eventually. Um, I hope to God that the saplings don't prove a problem. If that is going to be a case, then I'm going to have to go and find myself some more diamonds. I need some more diamonds anyway at some point, so I'm probably just going to go mining at some point very soon. Uh, I'll probably do it off camera because I've had a couple of uh, mining sessions on camera now, so I don't really want to bore you guys with that, even though this has been terribly, terribly boring at the minute. All right, so let's turn all these babies back on. Can I reach that in there? Doesn't look like I can. Uh, let's sort that out. Right, so that's all of them on, apart from this one over here. Is it going to take? No, it's not. Right. Yeah, it's just a case of turning the farm on and uh, hoping that everything works. Now, there's a reason why I did my build craft wrench. So I can turn this, just like that. I can turn it on, and then everything's going to get chopped down. And come out of here. So let's just give that a minute to, uh, to catch up to itself. And the sand here, once a tree grows, the humus turns into sand, and that's the byproduct that I was telling you guys about. The sand. Uh, the sand is going to get straight away replaced with the hummus, humus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, come on. Oh, 
We've got our first piece of wood that's just been chopped. Where is it? Come on. It is getting chopped, but there's nothing appearing so far. Have I done this wrong? Oh, hang on a minute. There we are. Right, I could do with an iron one there. We'll see if it tries to go. Oh, see if it tries to go in there. No. Uh, that's going to go along there. I don't think it's going to try and go in there because it physically can't. No, it's just skipped along, which is very, very nice. And that's going to get zoomed off down there. Steam engine, I'm going to have to keep them there. It is. There it goes. Here it is. It's popping along here. And let's go and take a look at the creation that I've just made. Fully automated bookshelf making. There's probably an easier way. <laughs> it's probably an easier way of doing it, but uh, never mind. What I've got to watch out for is the saplings when they come along. Right, there we go. We've just had a piece of wood there. And the the uh, wooden planks are going to come out of there and land in that chest. We've got a lot of books just uh, gathering here. Hopefully we can get this a bit quicker. I see that's going to be a problem. Is it going to take the wood itself as well? Or is it just going to take the books firstly? Ah, uh, see that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. It's easily worked out because I can, I can just put the, uh, the wood going into another chest and having that chest pump it out instead. Um, there's the saplings look. They just pop out there, so that's not too bad. I can live with that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get another bit sorted somewhere, but I'll do that in between. I'll do that off camera, sort that out, and then uh, everything's going to be spot on. So we're just making our first bookshelf here. You can see the wooden planks coming piling in. We've got a few books there already in waiting. 13, to make 13 uh, bookshelves. I still need to surround my Quasitum. Quasitum, whatever you want to call it. And there's the bookshelves. They're all going to land in there. So we are very, very close to getting fully automated bookshelf making. We have got it at the minute, but at the minute it's all getting stuck round about here because uh, all the wood's coming into there. I'm just going to like veer it off that way a little bit. Um, I think I may put a chest there so that everything is just going to filter into the chest and then the uh, wooden you know, into there and then onto the top of there. That's probably the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, the saplings are all ending up there, that's not a problem. Let's go over here and turn this off so that I'm not going to blow up whilst I'm trying to sort everything out. And we look like we're running out of uh, hummus. Let's have a look. No, we're all right there. Oh, it's because that's not got any power on it, that's why. Uh, let's turn that off anyway for the minute. As you can see, some of the saplings are going planted back into there, so that's brilliant, brilliant stuff. Nearly my second bit of automation. Oh, oh apples as well. Forgot about them. But this is very good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And all this wood is going to get sucked out. I've turned that off. I'm going to turn that off as well. That and that. So nothing's going to get pumped out of there and into here anymore. There's going to be no books coming in. There's going to be no wood coming in because I've turned that off. And that will allow me to sort it out once it's caught up with itself. But there you go. That is the automated book bookshelf making that I was talking about doing for quite a long while. It's taken me quite a few Minecraft days to get it done. I can only sleep at night as well, apparently. Where are we in the video? I think it's about six minutes. Yeah, that's that's bang on 30 minutes when I put them both together. Um, there we are. Now that's night time. Right, in between videos, I'm going to go out and get myself um, some more diamonds. I'm going to find some more diamonds 
Um, I'm going to go do a little bit of mining. What I'm going to do is start out the bookshelf, do the chest and the uh, automatic crafting table thing that I was telling you guys about. You know, put the chest there and then, you know, I'll be going straight into the top of there. That's what I'm going to do there. Um, so when you when you guys come back, you'll see everything working like pr pretty much spot on. The only thing is that um, <coughs> a bit worried about the engine over there. I can't leave that running. At some stage, I am going to have to create some build craft power, and I think I'm going to get onto that pretty pretty soon. So anyway, guys, until the next time, I have been the top man. Stay safe.